One of the difficulties that students have in beginning high school chemistry and even in college chemistry is how do I know how much reactant, how much product, how much reactant reacts, how much product is formed, will twice as much do it twice as well, will half as much only do it half as well. Very, very difficult problem to solve with kids and with uh, chemists. This, uh, this simulation, which I call bottles and caps, very uh, innovative. If you, I got a beaker, of, a tray of bottles, and a box of caps. This simulation is designed to solve that problem. Let's try it. I have 20 plastic. I have 20 plastic bottles in the aquarium. In each one of these six beakers, I have. 10 caps that screw on to the bottles. I'm going to take one beaker full of caps, 10 of them, 20 bottles in the aquarium, mix them up carefully, and now I'm going to extract bottles and caps. How many bottle and cap combinations can I make with what's in the aquarium now? Ten. Ten. Okay. Another ten caps. Stir them up. How many combinations can I make now? Twenty. Okay. Ten more caps. How many can I make now? Twenty. Okay, and one more beaker full. How many now? Twenty. And one more beaker full. Only twenty. And one more beaker full. Twenty again. And five thousand more. Only twenty. How do you know? Because you only have twenty bottles. The bottles are the limiting factor. The limiting factor. The caps are the excess. the excess, right. Limiting and excess reagents. The limiting reagent will all be consumed. The reagent in excess will be left over once the reaction is complete. Students can then do their calculations based on the chemical equation and knowing which reagent is present in excess and which is the limiting reagent. Thank you.